This is Gator. His real name is Gerald, but everyone calls him Gator because he looks a little bit like an alligator. He's been away for a while, so he's never met a funling before. Hello Gator, welcome back! Thanks Percy, has much changed around here since I've been gone? No, not really. Oh, except for the funlings. Who are the funlings? They're little green aliens from the planet Fun. You should meet them, there's quite a few of them now. OK, I'll see if I can find any. OK, Barbara, how are you today? Oh, hello there, are you a funling? Why, yes I am. <gasps> An alligator! Ah! Run! Oh dear, hello there, Barbara. Oh, they both ran away from me. Let's see if I can find another funling. Are you looking forward to this afternoon's party, dear? Oh yes, it'll be marvellous. Hello, are you King and Queen Funling? Why, yes we are. Oh, well, I think this train is an alligator. It's probably best if we just walk away. Oh, looks like I need to find a really brave Funling. Ah, I love being brave. Nothing frightens me. Oh, hello. You must be a brave funling. Why, yes I am. <gasps> An alligator train? Run away! He was the brave one? Hmm, looks like I need to find a scary funling. Maybe they won't be scared of me. Ooh. Hello, are you a ghost funling? Yes, I am. <gasps> ah, an alligator train. Run! Oh, every single funling ran away from me. Hi, Gator. Did you meet any funlings? Yes, but they all ran away from me. They all thought I was an alligator. Oh dear, don't worry. Once they get to know you, they won't run away. Yeah, hopefully. Later that day, some Funlings and Barbara were at a birthday party. What a lovely party. But whose birthday is it again? I don't know. It's not my birthday. Or mine. Or mine. Well then whose birthday is it? Who will open all of the presents? Maybe I can open all the presents. <laughs> huh? Diesel 10? I think I'll just take all the presents and keep them all for myself. <laughs> oh no! Super Funling, do something! What can I do? I'm not going anywhere near his claw. Oh, somebody please help! Hello, I'm here to help. Ah, it's the alligator! Alligator? Uh-oh, run away! Yes, haha, <laughs> I saved the day. Yes, but now we're stuck with an alligator. You know, I'm not actually an alligator. How do we know that? Do 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 do. Hello everyone. Farmer Funling, watch out for the alligator. Alligator? Oh, Funlings, that's not an alligator, that's a train! Oh! I told you I wasn't an alligator. And I didn't doubt you for a second. OK, King Funling. So, can I stay for the party? Of course you can! So now we can all enjoy Barbara's birthday! <coughs> Oh, it's Barbara's birthday! And everyone, including Gator, had a great time at the party. Whee! Uh-oh! Oh no, my car has broken down! Thomas can help me. Hi Rockstar Funling. 
Hi Thomas, please can you take my car to fix it funneling? It broke down. Of course I can. So Thomas loaded the car onto his truck and headed for Fix It Funding's workshop. On the way, he stopped for a quick drink when something zoomed past him. I only know one train who can go that fast. It must be Hugo. Hello, Thomas. Hi, Hugo. I see you're just as fast as ever. Just be careful with that propeller of yours. Of course, I'm always careful. See you later. Bye, Hugo. But nearby... All right, pirates. There is some treasure hidden somewhere over here. Let's find it. Um, Captain? Not behind the rock. Come on, you two. Look for it. Um, but Captain, it's just here. Oh? Oh, yes. Aha. <laughs> Good. Now we just need a train to take it back to our ship. Shall I call Diesel 10? No, he's too slow. We need a much faster engine than him. Did someone say fast engine? Huh? Who are you? I'm Hugo, the rail zeppelin. I'm really fast. Oh, excellent. Well, go get a truck to put the treasure on and let's go. Oh, uh... I can't pull any trucks. What? Why not? You have a coupling. I had that installed so I could try to pull trucks, but my propeller is too strong. It always blows the contents of the trucks away. Oh, well that makes you pretty useless then, doesn't it? We'll wait for the next train. Hugo thought that the pirate fundings were right. He was pretty useless, so sadly he left. Should we call Diesel 10 now? No, that's Thomas. He can help us. Go put something on the track so he has to stop. So they put a log on the track, but Thomas didn't see the log. Oops. Why'd you do that? We didn't mean to derail you. Oh, what's this I see? Huh? <gasps> that's Rockstar Funling's car. Hey, don't touch that. This is much more valuable than the treasure. Let's take it instead. <laughs> <laughs> so they called Diesel 10 and they loaded the car onto his truck. Thanks for the car. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. Oh no, how am I going to get that back? Luckily. Thomas, are you all right? Hugo, the pirate fundings have taken Rockstar Fundings' car. Please can you help me get it back? I don't know if I can. I'm not a very useful engine. Yes you are, Hugo. You're the fastest engine I know. I wish I could go half as fast as you. You're right, Thomas. I can catch up with them. I'll get the car back. And he zoomed off after the pirate fundings. But they'd already made it to the beach. There! Thanks, Diesel! Haha! <laughs> we made it! Hey! What's going on? Oh! Diver Funling! We're... Uh, fixing Rockstar Funling's car for him! Oh! That's very nice of you! Good luck! <laughs> he believed us! You won't get away with this! What? what? Oh look, it's the useless engine. I'm not useless, I'm here to save the day. Huh? And Hugo spun his propeller as quickly as he could. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, I did it! Oh diver funding! Yes? Oh, hello Hugo. The pirate fundlings weren't really fixing Rockstar Fundling's car, so I got it back. But how can I take it back to Thomas? Hmm, I have an idea. And they put the car on the track, so Hugo could push it to Thomas. Wow. I'm back! Yes, Hugo, you did it! See, you are a very useful engine. 
Thanks for believing in me, Thomas. So Fix-It Funding repaired the car. They're all good. Thanks, Fix-It Funding. So Rockstar Funding had his car back. And it was all thanks to Hugo. Gustavo is a hard-working electric train. He normally uses pylons above the track to be powered, but Sodor doesn't have them yet, so he has to use a charging station. Hi Funlings, can I use the charging station? Sorry Gustavo, we're already using it to charge our walkie-talkies. Hello Funling, can you hear me? Over. Yes, I can hear you. Over. Oh. Oh, looks like they're running out of power. Better charge them again. Oh, I'll come back later. Hi Thomas and Percy, what are you doing? We were just filling up with water from this water tower so that we could blow steam like this. Oh, I can't do that, I'm electric. Hi Diesel, what are you doing? I'm not going to tell you, you aren't a diesel. Yeah, this area's for diesels only. Okay. I feel bad for Gustavo. There aren't many electric trains he can be friends with. Maybe we can bring him some electric superheroes instead. I don't fit in anywhere here. Don't be so sure, Gustavo. We have some friends here. Being electric is great. You can do things like this. Or shoot lasers like this. Yes, but I can't do either of those things. Help! Help! Diesel 10 and the Joke have stolen my treasure. <laughs> Ultron! Don't look at me. For once, I didn't do it. I've got an idea how we can catch them up. Now you will be much faster. Let's go. Go faster! They're catching up! saw what you did there in stopping Diesel 10, that was pretty cool. We'd be very happy if you'd want to join us at the Diesel Works. Thanks Diesel. Hi Gustavo, well done stopping the Joker. Being an electric train was very useful. Thanks Thomas. So Gustavo delivered the treasure back to King Funling. Thanks for getting the treasure back for me. No problem. I couldn't have done it without my friends. I think I'm going to stay in Sodor. Murdoch is one of Sodor's biggest and strongest engines. He may be big and strong, but he's also very shy. One day, he was sent to work with Thomas. Ah, oh, hello Murdoch. I can't wait to work with you. We'll have so much fun. We need to deliver these six trucks, but because you're big and strong, maybe you can take four and I can take two. Murdoch would have preferred Thomas to have been quieter, but he didn't say anything. Hold on, let me finish loading the trucks first. Ah, there, that's all of them. Phew, what a lot of trucks. Ooh. 
OK, Murdoch, let's get going! And Thomas did not stop talking the whole way. Come on, Murdoch, you sure are big and strong. I wish I was as strong as you. Are you orange or yellow? I can't really tell. I like how your name is written on your side. Do you have a number? No, I don't think you do. Eventually, they made it to their destination. There we are. Wow, what a journey. I can't wait to do it all over again with you tomorrow. Bye. But Murdoch really didn't enjoy that journey. He would have preferred to have pulled all the trucks by himself. So the next day, Murdoch arrived to work early. Oh, you're early today, Murdoch. Let me finish loading the trucks. There. Now we just have to wait for Thomas. But Murdoch didn't want to wait. He took all of the trucks. Wait, 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 wait. You're taking all of them? Hello. Thomas, Murdoch took all of the trucks. Wow, he is very strong. Let's hope the trucks aren't too troublesome. But the trucks were planning something. <laughs> Ready? Push! 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 Why is nothing happening? Murdoch was just too strong for them. Oh, no. And Murdoch made it to his destination with no problems at all. That was a much nicer journey than the one with Thomas. But the trucks were not happy. Ah, uh, he was just too strong. We need more help. I know who can help us. Scruffy! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be good. Truck number one, are you with me? Yeah! Truck number two, are you in? Oh, wait, you're not a troublesome truck. You're just a truck. Anyway, is everyone in? Yeah! <laughs> So the next day, Murdoch picked up the trucks again. They're ready for you, Murdoch. You're so strong, Murdoch. Murdoch was very proud of himself. But no one realised that Scruffy was one of the trucks. <laughs> Come on, trucks. We'll overpower this train. Yeah! Ready? Push! Yeah! Push! Yeah! Push! <laughs> and eventually, Murdoch lost control. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Murdoch was fast. He must be okay though, he wasn't asking for help. He only didn't ask for help though, because he was too shy. <laughs> Luckily, someone knew Murdoch was in trouble. Wow, look at Murdoch go! Funnily, I think he's in trouble. What? Oh, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I thought too, yeah. I've got to help him! Thomas sped ahead and got himself in front of Murdoch. and he applied his brakes as hard as he could. Eventually, they stopped. Phew! Are you OK? Yeah, thanks Thomas. These trucks were a bit much for me today. Why didn't you ask for help? Well, I didn't want to bother anyone. But Murdoch, you won't be bothering anyone. If you need help, just ask someone. OK, Thomas. Thanks again. So, Thomas had saved Murdoch from the trucks. And now, Murdoch is still a bit shy, but if he ever needs help for anything, he won't hesitate to ask.